Before we begin, let me get this off of my chest. Hockey's back! Woo! This is the Bruins Recap Show. That is right. Hockey is back. We are in a bit of a weird situation as we are, uh, at least I'm not, but the players are in two separate bubble cities, the Eastern Conference in Toronto and the Western Conference in Edmonton. Oddly enough, both Edmonton and, in, and Toronto are in their own respective bubbles, but neither of them may or may not be home teams. It's a, it's a weird world. It's a weird situation. Um, there is no crowds going on. Everything, cats and dogs, mass hysteria, but we had tonight an actual, honest-to-goodness, live hockey game. It was an exhibition game. What are you guys doing? This is supposed to be an exhibition! You understand? An exhibition! For one team, though, uh, mainly the Columbus Blue Jackets, uh, it was a little bit more important to them as they will immediately, from this game, go into a five-game series to play in for the Stanley Cup playoffs against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So for Columbus, this was a big tune-up. For the Boston Bruins, however, this game was a little bit less important. Yes, it was important to tune everything up and, you know, go into what's going to be a round-robin series with the three other top teams in the league, or in the Eastern Conference, but they're only the round robin is only for standings, not to play in, so those three games you can tune and tweak and kind of get into better shape. And boy, did the Boston Bruins in the first period play like that. But let's circle back, and so let's start here. This was the first game for the Boston Bruins since March 10th, a 2-0 victory over the Philadelphia Flyers. Prior to that, we had the trade deadline on the 25th of February. On the 24th, the day beforehand, and about a week beforehand as well, the Boston Bruins made two trades with the Anaheim Once Mighty Ducks. They included a trade of Danton Heinen for Nick Ritchie, and David, Bass David Backus, a prospect, and a first-round pick, for Andra Kasha. The reason I stress these out, neither one of them played. And in the case of Andra Kasha, he has yet to practice, and as far as I am aware, he is not even in the bubble city of Toronto. So it is looking very, very likely that the person they traded a first round pick, a prospect, even hell, even old man David Backus for is probably not going to play in the Stanley Cup playoffs. At least not until maybe the second round, if at all. However, the good news, Nick Ritchie, for better or for worse, the better Ritchie brother, uh, was on ice for the optional morning skate, so it looks like potentially he might be ready to go to play the Philadelphia Flyers on Sunday afternoon. So let's, let's now get back into this game. As, uh, boy... Ugly, ugly, ugly first period. Just, they they had some good forechecking in the first, but you can tell they haven't played in four or five months. It's just, nothing was crisp, nothing was clean. Just, there were a second, second off. The chemistry, off. Just, not there. The game plan, not there. They're just a half second to maybe a full second slow in that first period. And it showed as Boone Jenner, Zach Wisniewski, and Goose Nyquist all score. One of which on the power play to make it a 3 nothing lead for the Columbus Blue Jackets after the first period. Now Boston would get progressively better. Progressively better and you know more into it, which, which is a good sign. But that first period gives you a lot to worry about. Like, oh boy, they don't look ready. But the third period, you get a little bit better. Maybe, you know, 
deep breath. They won't. They they got three more games before we get to the the real real deal, which is a terrible way to look at it. I know you shouldn't look at it this way. Uh, we go to the second period, and thank God David Pasternak returned to the bubble and was in the lineup tonight. He was one of the few bright spots for Boston, as in the second period, he gets a beautiful feed from Sean Corrali and Charlie McAvoy. He looks like he's going to wind up the big extra meat sauce slapper, goes to the backhand, back to the forehand, and puts it through the five hole of Elvis Verzingis and makes it a 3-1 hockey game. That is the only positive you know, goal scoring aspect for the Boston Bruins as in the third period, Columbus puts in the empty net with about a second to go. The Boston Bruins fall four to one in the exhibition game. They were outshot 31 to 24. And the reason I say they played very sloppy for a good chunk of this game, they had 22 giveaways. 22. And not all of them were David Krejci apple pie turnovers. 22 giveaways. That is unacceptable in the next three games, in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Unacceptable. 22 giveaways. So also on top of that, they were going the penalty kill on five separate occasions to the Columbus Blue Jackets of all teams. Um, like I said, they got progressively better. Now comes the interesting thing as far as the lineup goes. Um, cause Boston was able to have multiple extra people, I believe two extra bodies, which were John Moore and, uh, Carson Kuhlman, the coolest man on ice with Andre Kasha, most likely not going to be playing anytime soon. That is a either a second or a third line, a middle six right wing position that is available. Now, you got three potential players to fill that role. Um, all three of which looked decent, if not really good, in this game. Jack Stugnica, um, Carson Kuhlman, and Anders Bjork. Bjork being the more tenured, Kuhlman has a better chemistry With David Krejci, as you saw that line of DeBrus, Krejci, and Kuhlman against the Toronto series last year. And a good chunk of the season this year as well. Um, And Studnika, he is a stud. He looked really, really good. Um, Right now, he's my top pick to get that second or third line position. Although he is a left, doing a, he would be a left uh, winger on the right wing side. But either way, he, he looked the best in my personal opinion. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. Wrap it up in a nice bow. Uh, Boston will start this return to play, the Round Robins, Sunday afternoon, 3 o'clock, against the Philadelphia Flyers. And if their exhibition is anything to go from, the Philadelphia Flyers are ready. And they're ready to go. So, you thoroughly need to up your tempo. You thoroughly need to bring more energy, more intensity. You got to be ready to go. Last year was a disappointment. You were the President's Trophy winner. And wouldn't it be good in a weird 2020 year that the President's Trophy winner actually hoists the cup. We return to play, boys, Sunday afternoon. We'll see you then on the next Bruins Recap Show.